When you read this part from the Daily Mail, you might be thinking to yourself, hang on a minute. Has Prince Harry and the US government just been ordered by the judge to release his visa application to the Heritage Foundation? Well, I'm joined by my good friend, DC lawyer John Witherspoon, and he's going to explain this a little bit more. up everyone it's me Steph the alternate nerd your nerdy alternative and welcome to the dose of the daily nerd why break down the royal news and gossip of the day that's pretty much caught me eye and oh my goodness yes let's jump into this with my very good friend DC lawyer John Witherspoon thank you so much for joining me again today how are you doing mate I'm good Steph how are you I'm not doing too bad. Uh, you uh, directed me to this particular article from the Daily Mail that was released yesterday uh, that Prince Hazard's visa illicit substance case has been quietly closed by the judge in a sealed ruling. Uh, and for those that don't know anything about it, what this ruling means or anything like that, uh, please head on over to the video that we did yesterday. I'll link it in the description bar below and it'll be towards the end of this video as well. Uh, I was able to break it first. Uh, Prince Hazard's US visa court case has been terminated. And John explains what it means, dispels any myths out there. And yeah, you want to get the 411 on all of that? Head on over to yesterday's video right there. However, this bit caught my eye and John's eye. So Samuel Dewey here spoke to the Daily Mail and said... Uh, that there was no indication of who won the case, saying in these types of cases where there are unusual facts like this one, this is not an unusual thing to have a sealed order. There could be very good reasons for it to be sealed regardless of who won. This is not weird or suggestive of anything untoward. So, so far, so simple and straightforward. However, is this a slip of the tongue what he says next? Has he just blabbed and said, whoa, uh, the judge actually ruled in our favour. This is what he says next. The order could have been sealed to stop the public finding out about Harry's visa status before the DHS, the Department of Homeland Security, has a chance to appeal, thus negating the point of an appeal, Mr Dewey said. And so to me, when you just read that right off the back of that, right on surface level, it's him turning around and potentially saying, actually, no, the order's sealed because the judge actually uh, ruled in our favour, ruled to release the visa application to us. However, because of the sensitive information that's in the visa application, and previously this and the other blah, 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 the judge has sealed it and sealed his opinion and decision to give the DHS a chance to appeal before it all comes out in the open. And so this is the thing, right? Here is Dewey Samuel, for those that don't know who he is. And before I get on to what Niall Gardner from the Heritage Foundation said, that pretty much, you know, gives a little bit more context to all of this, going back to what Samuel Dewey said here and what was reported on, uh, John, what is your reaction and what have you got to say about this? Well, this is interesting, Steph. Um, and I think you and I both picked up on the exact same thing, which is this notion that, well, the reason it's sealed is because DHS uh, presumably needs an opportunity to respond to whatever decision the judge reached, which we still don't know exactly what it is. They need an opportunity to respond without the decision being made public, because if it was made public, then that would be unfair to one side of the case or the other, presumably unfair to Department of Homeland Security. We need to back up also a little bit and think about exactly what it was that the judge, um, uh, what, what he did a couple of days ago. Um, the first thing was he gave a sealed, uh, ex parte order, which is entry number 46 on the page there. Um, and then he also issued a sealed 
ex parte memorandum opinion. And as we talked about the other day, a memorandum opinion is very short. It has no legal precedence associated with it. It cannot be cited as pre uh, as as pre legal precedents by other attorneys in the future who are arguing cases. Um, it's basically short and sweet. It's very to the point, probably only about 10 pages. But the important part here for this discussion is the fact that it is an ex parte order. Ex parte is a Latin word. It means basically to the exclusion of one side or the other, or put more simply, it was only given to the people who needed to see it. If it had been given to Samuel Dewey or to Niall Gardner or Heritage Foundation, that would be an indication that they were the recipients of the judge's decision and they would not be talking in terms of the way that they talked yesterday, which is basically to say, we don't know what's going on. If the judge had basically said, you know what, I vote in favor of Department of Homeland Security, keep, keep Prince Harry's visa records uh, and immigration records uh, private, um, they would probably be saying, hey, well, this stinks. We're really sorry. You know, um, this is a bum deal and we're planning on appealing. It's not what they're saying. They're saying we don't know anything. So clearly, because this was ex parte, the decision was given to Department of Homeland Security, who now, presumably, as now Gardner says, uh, has a week or two or however long it's going to take for them to respond to it and also to potentially lodge an appeal that would be taken up to the next level, which is the um, Court of Appeals for the District of Columbia. So uh, for the Court of Appeals for the D.C. Circuit. So um, in, in any case, it's a very interesting state of affairs. And as we were talking a couple of moments ago, what I said was, again, can't rule anything in. You can't rule anything out. However, if I were Prince Harry, I would be a little bit more nervous today than I was yesterday in light of these comments that have come out from Samuel Dewey uh, and also from, from Niall Gardner. I'll say as well, Samuel Dewey is a very, very impressive lawyer. When you see him in court, as I did back in February, I believe it was, when they did the oral arguments on this case, a very, very shrewd, sharp guy. That's him there in the in the red and blue tie with the yellow pocket scarf. Uh, and uh, incidentally, that is uh, now Gardner standing there with his hands visible uh, sort of uh, to one side. He's walking behind him. Yeah, right there. That's that's now Gardner. Um, who is a former uh, associate of of, uh, of Margaret Thatcher in, in the UK. So, um, again, the point being, I would be a little more nervous if I was Prince Harry uh, today than I was yesterday. Uh, anything can still happen, but it's a very interesting um, sort of 24 hours in terms of the comments that have been made. And speaking of Niall Gardner, he has also spoken out on Twitter as well with an update on this particular court case. And, you know, he says in terms of towards the bottom, look, it appears the judge has ruled and that ruling is sealed. We know nothing about how the judge ruled. Nothing should be read into that order or that it's under seal. We have always said this case is unique and options can be initially sealed in such cases. We will continue to monitor the situation. So for any of those that are taking this potentially the wrong way and thinking, oh, well, Samuel Dewey, slip of the tongue, he's essentially confirmed that it's all under seal uh, and private because it's given the DHS a chance to appeal. No, 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 no. He's just saying this could be a possibility, not that this is actually what's happened, right? And, Correct. you know, when you read the rest of it, you know, Samuel Dewey says, look, this is another step in the proceedings in an unusual case. The only mm -hmm. thing this tells us is that we'll know what the decision is soon, probably in a week or two, it could go either way. I mean, really, how long is a piece of string? I've always asked, you know, in these kind of conversations with John, how long do you think we're going to get a ruling? How long do you think we're going to find out this? How long are we going to think you're going to find out that? And John's answer is always the same. It's pretty much how long is a piece of string? It'll happen when it'll happen. And so, you know, for us to find out this order in terms of his decision, his opinion uh, for Judge Carl uh, J. Nichols, we'll find out when we'll find out. Uh, so... I wouldn't hold on to this notion of, well, Samuel Dewey says we'll probably know in a week or two. So stand by in a week or two. It could actually be longer, guys. 
it could actually be longer. So do bear that in mind. So yes, from what Samuel Dewey has said up here, uh, has Prince Harry and US government been ordered by the judge to release a visa application to the Heritage Foundation? No. Please do not take this out of context. Look at the bigger picture as we've just shown you. They're all saying the same thing, guys. They don't know the result of all of this. They don't know the opinion. They're waiting just as much as you, myself, John, and everyone else. We're just waiting uh, as to what this order specifically is, what his decision is. Until then, we just don't know. Uh, John, do you have any final words before we wrap up? Yeah, I would just say as well, and again, Steph, you and I discussed this um, a little while ago, there's some uh, there's some disappointingly sloppy reporting that's going on, especially um, from from some of the headlines that are written. And um, for those who don't know, it's it's typically not the case that the person who writes an article also writes the headline. It's usually an editor who reads the article that the reporter has written, and then they put up a headline. They may not be on the same page, and some of the headlines indicate that this case is kind of dying with a whimper or the you know the fire has gone out or whatever that's not that's that's not true at all that's not true at all we have reached a milestone in this case we've 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 reached a, a certain threshold of the judge at the at the trial court level rendering an opinion rendering a decision um but there's still a lot of opportunity in this case for it to go back and forth it is not dead by any means and anybody who's dancing on anybody else's grave and i've seen some of that on twitter you know oh heritage foundation you lost go back under the rock you came from blah 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 no totally totally um uh inappropriate in in, in terms of it, the reality of what's going on here this case is not over yet and as i indicated a minute ago uh, there's there's still uh, i think considerable room for harry to be nervous yeah so for all those thinking that it's over you just heard it from Orsi's mouth. It's not over. There is still a lot of game time in this particular court case. And when there are any other further updates, you are short as short as eggs. Myself and John will be on top of it and we'll be giving you all the updates on this channel as and when they come. So if you appreciated what came out of John's gob, and of course you did, then do head on over and follow him on Instagram at Witherspoon DC. It's the only way you're able to contact him if you've got any questions. He may not be able to answer all of your questions, uh, and only some, but you know, it's a way to contact him if you want to. And if you appreciated this video overall, and you are excited for further updates in this whole Visa Cork case, saga then do make sure you subscribe to join our alt and her tribe like share comment down below your opinion conspiracy theories whatever's and help us get to a million so we can also get that go play button behind us and hopefully cause a Meghan markle meltdown on instagram with that being said thank you so much for tuning into this video appreciate all your faces and until the next time you guys laters